The lighting is a little off. It's so windy. If you can hear the wind, I'm really sorry. This is how you keep your dog occupied through a whole tutorial. Let me give this to Callie first. This is exciting. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make a triangle shelf like this one, this exact one. This is the backdrop obviously to my main set. You guys have been asking for it for a while. I prototyped a smaller version off of some tutorials that I found online. Shockingly, there was no good tutorial. So it's gonna be a combination of like a build with me but also I'm gonna zoom in and do those B-roll shots of what exactly I'm doing because I found personally, I couldn't find anything that really walked me through it. So the first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna get your wood. The wood width depends on your space. If you're making these shelves to hang up, I would suggest going a little bit thinner because this thick of wood, this guy needed a ton of support and I didn't install this nor did I create this one. It will be my first time creating like a huge triangle shelf with you guys. I'm gonna cut three pieces down which are gonna be the sides of my triangle. All of them need to be equal pieces. So right now, I think I measured upstairs a couple days ago. I really hope this wind doesn't ruin this DIY. Really hope so. So I really wanted to build with you guys, but it's gonna be windy for the next couple days. The one tutorial that I found that sort of made sense told me to cut the wood down with angles at 30 degrees, like a 30 degree angle at each end. And they need to be like opposite. They need to like go this way. So if the piece of wood obviously is like this, you want the angle sloping outward. So right now, let's just measure out three pieces of wood, 40 inches each. So yeah, 40 inches is obviously a good size. It's a little over three feet. Once I make this guy, since I'm not hanging him up, if I don't like it where it lives, I can just move it really easy, picking it up and placing it in another area. Now that I measured out the three sides of my triangle, each of these pieces are 40 inches. I'm gonna cut these down at a 30 degree angle. That sounds crazy to you. It's not, we're gonna work with my miter saw. We'll go over there right now. If you guys don't have a miter saw like this, you can use a handsaw and adjust the angle of the blade. But for this one, I'm just gonna turn this knob on the back and adjust the blade to 30 degrees. When you are cutting down these pieces, after you cut one side, you wanna flip the board over and scoot it down. This will create the opposite angles on each end. Now what we have are three equal pieces. They should go together pretty nicely. And I know that this, this bowiness is bothering you, but I'm gonna do an Instagram live probably within the next week of me just touching this up, straightening out these shelves, making sure they have the proper support, repainting it, and I wanna do like a live Q&A with you guys, so hopefully you tune into that. Boards I forgot I bought, they are pre-sanded. I actually might have just made that up. I need to double check. These boards, I feel like, don't need too intensive of a sanding. I have a 150 grit attached to this little paddle attachment. This is by Gator Finishing. You could definitely go in with your orbital sander with the sandpaper round if you want to, if your wood is super just jacked up. You can work from an 80 grit and work your way up in number. So you're gonna go from a grittier grit to a smoother grit to go from getting all the kinks and whatnot out to finishing it. So that's why you like to work from a smaller number to a larger number, depending on your wood. Oh my God. Oh my God, this thing is scratching my face. Ow! Oh, and I just hit the rubber bands. Oh my God. And sand down the areas that need it, but for the most part, this puppy is smooth. I don't, did you see me just do that? I just tried to blow the sawdust off with the sun. <laughs> I'm a ding dong right now. We sanded down the three sides of our triangle. Now we just have to attach them. And this is where I personally had the most trouble was when I was like assembling that smaller triangle. I was trying to connect them at each end and you're supposed to like stagger them. Oh my gosh. You guys, I'm so happy I did a prototype because that prototype was so off. I'm gonna trim the sides with some wood glue and connect them with my nail gun and the proper size nail nails. These are super long. I don't know if I need that long of one. How is it the most easy task or the hardest for me to do? Who opens a box like this? Really guys? Gosh, they use like industrial strength. So I'm gonna load my nail gun up with these guys. Like I said, these are one and a half inches. These actually might be a little... Fingers are nowhere near. I'm just gonna... That didn't do anything. The 
didn't even put a nail through. Why is that not going in? What is going on? Come on, Rach. Why isn't this working? The lights are still on. I think I have a jam. This is so irritating. I thought one size fits all for these guys. These are the normal nails that I get. They're too thick? There's no way. Third time's the charm, right? What the actual F? Wow. Why are these tests always the hardest? I have to go back to Home Depot. Oh my God, this is so annoying. That's just a thing. We're gonna hold off on gluing all this together because I have to make a run to Home Depot. Every time I build in front of you guys, I mess up the nut. I think it's just because you guys make me nervous. What is like? Let them out. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna fix this off camera because I don't want to break my nail gun by getting so mad at the nail being stuck in it when it should just work anyways. I'll be back in a new outfit with some new nails and we'll finish this guy. I'm not gonna lie, it took like a five hour nap after that. It just deflated me that I couldn't just film it all in one day. I actually found the proper nails stashed in my little workshop bench over there, so I'm stoked. I didn't even have to go to Home Depot. Moment of truth. Um, all right. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Not bad my first go around. Some of the sides aren't all the way in. Yeah, buddy. Now we just gotta add the shelves. And this is where you can have so much fun with it, or you can just do very simple, like just straight across shelves. Pinterest has a ton of inspo photos, so if you just type in triangle shelf, not only will they show you how to style it, it will just give you literally a plethora of how other people have designed shelves. I really do like the one behind me. I'm gonna start with two triangles and then kind of build up and see how it starts to look. But let's just start with cutting two 15 inch pieces down on my miter saw. Once again, you're gonna do 30 degree angles at the end sloping out. So I'll be right back with them. All right. Might cut these down a little bit. Exactly how we cut the wood down for the sides is how you're going to cut the wood down for these shelves You want it at a 30 degree angle and while you're working you want to have a level on hand to make sure that your shelving is obviously level The shelving does get a little frustrating because then when you step back and it's not what you like You have to take apart the whole thing and hammer out the nails and start from square one Once I liked where all my shelves were at, I did fill in the holes because I am actually going to paint this white. I really do love the two triangles on the bottom corners. I think that really makes this shelving unit. And I'm so pumped that you guys requested this for so long because now I actually have one I can like move around in my house and use for parties if I wanted to for like dessert bars or whatever. I decided to put this shelf actually in my bathroom that I recently redid and it made such an enormous difference because now I'm using the height of that area versus like trying to stack all those crates and making it all bulky. While this thing looks perfect while I'm editing it, up close and personal since this was my first time, the wood is semi uneven in certain places. There are some nicks and dents that I need to fix, but all in all, once you style it, it takes away from the mistakes that I made. But don't think that this thing is perfect because it definitely was not. It really is a night and day difference with this in my bathroom now, like I said, because I'm utilizing the height of that little area and making the most of the space. When decorating this guy, like I always say, trust your gut, add personal touches, add that quirkiness, and just all in all, when you step back, if you feel good about it or you don't feel good about it, don't force styling it. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's tutorial and my take on a triangle shelf. Be sure to leave a comment down below what you would do different, how you would style it, what color would you stain it, would you leave it plain. Like I say, sharing is caring because you're bound to inspire another DIYer since it's not my way or the highway with this thing. That's it for me today, guys. I will see you Wednesday with another DIY.